You have to close the door. Hello. Hey, what's up guys? This is Shanti and you're watching me on my YouTube channel, D-Layer-V. If you're watching me and this video for the first time, then thank you so much for taking time out of your day to click on this video and watch this video. If I have not mentioned already, hi, hello, my name is Shanti. I'm from Singapore. I'm a YouTuber and vlogger. If you would like to see more from me and you like what you see, all I need is a second from you to click on the subscribe button right down this video. There will be a bell icon next to it. Make sure to click on it as well just so that you'll be updated and notified whenever new videos like this go up on my channel. If you'd like to know more about what I have picked up for myself from Lush Raffle City's grand opening, then please keep on watching. I did pick out a few little things for myself. Bath bombs from Lush are my go-to whenever I have a vacation or a holiday planning coming up. To date, I can confidently say that I've tried almost 80% of their bath bombs and they have not failed me at all. This time around, I picked out the experimental bath bomb that looks like this. I'll try to find an image or a video clip how it actually looks like when it's submerged into water, when it's like just crackling and just bubbling away. Funky's not really comfortable with the length of the bathtub and the height of it, but with the bath bomb, and she just gets in and she plays a little bit it's so much more easier bath bombs are really fun and it's not only for funky i also have a lot of fun with her so yes this is the experimental bath bomb the next bath bomb i picked out for her was the turtle jelly bomb this is very new to their collection and there's a whole new significance and purpose and reason behind coming up with this and I really like how it actually looks like. It has like a very turquoise kind of colour into this bath bomb itself. I got this only because it's in the shape of a turtle which is so so cute. The next product I picked up for myself, it's called the Hair Doctor. If you remember Anne from Lush, she actually walked me through. I believe you have to put this in a cup of water and then it melts and you massage this into your dry hair before. It's like a pre-hair wash treatment kind of thing and I feel like I had a lot of damage done to my hair since last year's color. I am pretty much due for another hair color update. Let's see how that goes but I do want to make sure that I try to do a little bit of treatment for my damaged hair so I picked up Hair Doctor. I believe since this is mine I will definitely open up for you guys and this is how it actually looks like. It looks like a popsicle stick and you're supposed to put it into a cup and pour hot water in it and it will melt away to about half a cup full of the wax kind of formulation and you massage it into your dry hair and I like how it actually is so handy the spatula itself can actually serve as a purpose to you know apply the, the treatment into your hair I like how handy it is the other product that I picked up for myself is also a hair treatment type of product it's actually a sea salt shampoo this is one of their best sellers it's called big and it contains like sea salt granular sea salt this is pretty good if you want to have some exfoliation action for your scalp especially if you feel like you have a lot of product build up on your scalp or you're very prone to dandruff and it also introduces a lot of volume to your hair while the sea salt kind of sloughs away all of the dead skin cells from the surface of your scalp and introduce new nutrients to your scalp surface and perhaps allow new hair growth to happen a little little bit more on the natural side of hair growth. If I recall correctly, I do remember them telling me that it contains coconut oil and a few other oils in this shampoo. That's right, it has coconut oil, it has neroli oil, it has mandarin oil, it has a couple of oils in here and it also contains fresh sea water and sea mustard extract so there's a lot of natural ingredients packed in this big sea salt shampoo last but not the least i got myself this beautiful looking highlighter when they swatched this when Anne swatched it on the back of my hand i felt like i would not be able to go back home without this and it's called the feeling younger it's actually a skin tint and it's supposed to be a fresh illuminating jojoba oil base to brighten your complexion and get you good glow this is how the product actually looks like it's very liquidy in its packaging yeah it comes in a glass jar and it contains about 18 grams of product and it also says that it's vegan and if you're someone who's looking for vegan products probably want to give this a try all i'm just going to be taking my clean fingers just taking a dip of this you see how little i have this on my back of my hand oh this is such an amazing summer treat you guys i can even put this on my collarbones or even the sides of my on the middles of my shoulder if i'm wearing a like bearing my arms can you see that it makes me instantly look like i've actually 
did a little bit of salt scrub and moisturized myself to death. This kind of mimics that healthy looking skin glow that everybody wants to have during summer. I don't hear anyone talking about this and I was really blown away by the swatch and how healthier in seconds my arm was actually looking so this was definitely a must try. If you're going to be wearing a lot of shorts and skirts or you're going to be burying your legs can you imagine a little bit of this? You can actually kind of cheat your way to wearing this a lot more often by just taking a little bit of this and adding it onto your body lotion and just slathering all over your body. Oh my god, it will look so healthy like you've been drinking a lot of water every day. Can you sense my excitement from feeling younger? Yes, this is my first impression. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. I'm just going to be putting everything back. The bark bombs have to be really careful. I am keeping them in their original packaging just so that when we are going to be traveling, it's easier to carry them around like this just so when you're going on a holiday trip and you need to do some airport or security clearance, everything that they need to know is already over here and it's not unpacked. One other thing about Lush is that they make a lot of efforts to go plastic free and bag free and this is their goodie bag from attending the Lush grand opening at Breffle City. I have another one from Halloween last year and you see how handy it is to just carry this around. We come up with brilliant ideas. Give me just a moment while I unwrap this beautiful looking bundle and if you hear a coughing in the background, it's, it's my little girl. Okay, there's a lot of goodies over here. The first one that I reached out for is called the Boom 2D Tabs. It's supposed to be a charcoal and gunpowder glass with a shot of spicy cola. How to use this? You nibble on one tap to form a toothpaste and then use a red toothbrush to clean as normal. Wow! I recently tried a teeth whitening product that also has charcoal in it and I'm guessing this product would be just amazing as that and this is so travel friendly. Can you just see how lightweight it is? This packaging contains 50 grams of its Perhaps. This is called 2D. This is such a cute product and it's a bottom rub. That's a cracking everything. It's how the light gets in. This is so cute and it's supposed to be a rub for your bum. That's your bottom to make your derriere great again. This is so such a cute idea. They come up with oh wow, wow, wow. It smells very really citrusy, like almost like very intoxicating blood oranges just squeezed into this lotion and can you appreciate that gold dust that you see on the tops of the lotion oh my god next i have is a, a rose argan gourmet soap and this is supposed to be this glossy pink argan oil soap is sprinkled with yellow and pink rose petals carving away a piece is like cutting butter and reveals a rich creamy colored core scented with heady turkish rose Oh, I can. Whoa, I can. Oh, the smell is so intoxicating and super heady. It's almost transporting me to a Mediterranean night market. And it also says that it contains Egyptian geranium oil. And it does feel like butter. It's a little bit squidgy and soft, almost like a pat of butter in my hands. Wow. Next from the scalp bundle, I have Cherish Body Scrub. Unfortunately, the writing or the description of this product is being rubbed off. Whoa, it smells so citrusy and fresh inside. The last product from the scalp bundle, unfortunately, I have no description. It's completely rubbed away, but I believe it's a bath bomb because it's a little bit grainy on the inside. Maybe I'm just going to be keeping it as it is so that my kid will have one more bath bomb to play with. But that's it for today's haul video guys i really hope you enjoy watching this haul if you did then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're not subscribed already all that will be needed from you is just one second to click on the subscribe button right down this video make sure to click on the bell next to it also just so that you'll be notified whenever new videos like this go up on my channel and i shall catch you in my next video bye guys